The University of King's College sits on unceded Mi'kmaq territory, subject to the peace and friendship treaties that are the basis for peaceful coexistence and good relations among all who live in Mi'kmaq. Hi, I'm Libby, and I'm a student at the University of King's College in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Everyone seems to introduce their pets in these videos, but mine's somewhere far away, so it's just me. I completed the Foundation Year program in 2020, and am currently pursuing a double honors degree in Classics and Contemporary Studies. The community is definitely one of the most rewarding aspects of learning at King's, and while it was difficult to facilitate this real-life experience from behind a screen this year, I did have access to the real-life experience of sharing ideas through books, which is another core value of being a King's student, I think. And moreover, I had access to Halifax, which is perfectly set up for my favorite pandemic-safe activity, which is reading as I. In this video, I'm going to take you along with me on a two-day journey to start and finish Ludwig Wittgenstein's collected notes on certainty, and hopefully introduce some incoming King students to some places that they might frequent outdoors, pandemic-safe, with their fifth books in hand. Let's go! The first place I'll introduce you to is a cafe called Coburg Social. You're almost guaranteed to see a Dollar King student sitting with their laptop anytime you walk by, not only because of the free Wi-Fi, but also because it's situated on Coburg Road, the same street as both campuses and a two minute walk from any King's residence building. It has a large interior with tables, bar stools, and tons of outlets, making it a great place to study. Since lockdown, they've accommodated with a takeout window and a pet-friendly patio where you can sit, as I often do, seen here with my Wittgenstein book and my iced matcha lemonade. I know how extra that sounds, but if I wanted a black coffee, I would have stayed home. Actually, I still probably would have come. Anyway, the second hot spot I'll introduce you to is the Halifax Commons. Walk 10 minutes down Roby Street from the cafe and you'll be there. This was definitely one of my most frequented spots this year because it's a huge field absolutely ideal for socially distant hangouts. If sprawling on the grass is not your thing, it's also got bleachers on which you can read more Wittgenstein. There's usually some bros throwing a frisbee or a game of pickup soccer you can watch from a distance when you need a break. Or if you want some action yourself, you can hop on the tennis courts, the basketball courts, go to the skate park, or head over to the Oval with your rollerblades in the summer and your skates in the winter because this is Canada and obviously it turns into a skating rink. The third place to which I'll introduce you is the famous Halifax Citadel National Historic Site. Follow the paved path around the commons or just look for the enormous hill dropped right in the center of the city. The Parks Canada website asks you to step back in time with the 78th Highlanders and the 3rd Brigade Royal Artillery to learn what it was like for the soldiers and their families to live and work in this historic fort, which you can most certainly do by entering and taking a tour, but I love the Citadel because it is once again a prolonged stretch of grass, ideal for tanning, sprawling, and yes, reading even more Wittgenstein. The Citadel also has a really stellar view of Halifax, perfect for some melancholy existential contemplation, and from the top, it catches the very last rays of sun as she leaves us towards the west. Of course, cannot forget one of the best perks of Halifax, aside from the fact that this is where Kings lives, that it is on the ocean. And so the fourth place I like to read is the harbor. Another 10 minute walk through downtown Halifax and you'll find yourself on the boardwalk. When things aren't in lockdown, the harbor is usually bustling with tourists and locals. There are tons of restaurants, cafes, and vendors set up along three kilometers. And even when things are closed down, the docks are a great place to explore and pass some time. I like to go running, catch the ferry, wonder if anyone lives on that tiny shack on McNabb's Island, or set myself up at one of the many benches and parks, reading Wittgenstein for the fourth time because it's a lot to take in. And if the harbor does not quench your thirst for peaceful ocean vibes, I've got you covered on my fifth spot, Point Pleasant. Hop on the bus and head to the South End, where you can practice a little romanticizing of the natural world in the middle of this urban peninsula. Take a hike through the forest trails, walk the path by the water, almost undoubtedly meet some dogs, and finally, set yourself up at a quiet spot on the beach to read. And 
And that's it. Those are my top five COVID friendly places to sit and read your fit books. I finally completed on certainty. On that note, one final tidbit is if you ever have the chance to take Dr. Mike Bennett's Wittgenstein course, please, please do. It changed the way I think forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever.